So let's look at a PV diagram where the pressure remains constant. And it can go in either direction. Either the volume can increase or the volume can decrease. This is called an isobaric process, one in which the pressure doesn't change. We can also have an isometric process, one in which the volume doesn't change, the pressure changes. Now for the isobaric process, the work done is the area under the curve from the function all the way down to the volume axis, but in the case where it's an isometric process, there's no area under that curve. If there's no area under that curve, there's no change in volume, then there's no work done. If there's no work done, then if we look at the first law of thermodynamics, delta U is equal to Q plus W, then delta U is equal to Q. And that's really useful in some problems that you'll see. Now if we look at a PV diagram in which temperature doesn't change, this is called an isotherm, our delta U doesn't change. Because our temperature doesn't change. Remember delta U was equal to 3 halves in RT. So if T doesn't change, then U doesn't change. So that means if we go back to our first law of thermodynamics, delta U is equal to Q plus W, then Q plus W equals zero, and that gives us Q is equal to negative work. Again, really helpful in solving some problems. There's another process in which the there's no thermal energy exchange with the environment. This is an adiabatic process. And this is where Q is equal to zero. So if we go back to our law of thermodynamics, delta U is equal to Q plus W. If Q is zero, delta U is equal to zero plus work, therefore the change in internal energy is equal to the work done. Now let's look at an example. A system of ideal gas is at a constant pressure of 110 kilopascal and gains 920 joules of thermal energy. Find the change in volume of the system if the internal energy of the gas increases by 360 joules. So delta U is equal to Q plus W, and work is equal to negative P times delta V. Make a substitution and solve for delta V, and you should find the change in volume is equal to 0 0.0051 meters cubed.